guys, uh, welcome to a new video. Today we're gonna sell my car. It is the only day I have to sell my car, kind of. I've been out of town for a while and my new car is gonna be here within the next couple of weeks. So not only am I not gonna have anywhere to put it, but I also would like, you know, the money from my previous car to put as a down payment towards my new Rivian. And today is the only day that we can make this happen. So we're gonna see how we can sell a car in one day. I went ahead and I did an online CarMax offer and I also did a car trackers yesterday where I did like a video walkthrough and they actually offered me the highest amount and the CarMax one today came in like $600 lower, but I'm gonna go there in person. I set an appointment for an hour and a half, which I'm not ready for. Uh, so I'm gonna go down, clean up my car, uh, bring everything I need to bring just in case it happens. And yeah, today might be the day that we're getting rid of my car. I've had it for over four years. I have a Range Rover Velar 2019. I leased it and then I ended up just buying in cash. It has less than 15,000 miles. It's in like perfect condition. But anyway, I'm gonna go see what happens. At this point, I just want it to go away. I want the money. I want to not be bothered. And I'm ready to move on to the next chapter. I wanted to do a trade-in where I would trade in my car with Rivian and then that way my amount would be lower and that way I would pay less tax. But apparently in California, they don't have that tax benefit. So I still would be paying the tax on the full amount of the car. Love that for myself. So let's go. So going through the process of trying to clean up my car now, just in case I do sell it, really have a lot of crap in my car. Not crap, but like a lot of things that I'm finding. These sunglasses, cool. Got some gum. We have emergency Biscoff. Oh, this one, it's just a wrapper. A lot of a lot of stuff in here, a lot of trash. In other news, this little uh, shark handheld vacuum is one of the greatest vacuums that I own, uh, next to obviously my, my big LG vacuum. It just like pops open to empty it, and I use this in my car, I use this in my house. Like, it's such a great little handheld vacuum, so I'm gonna put a link in the description. Okay, so I have the book. They're probably gonna want the book. It's just like not what I thought I was gonna do today, you know? What's this? What is it, a cloth? Really glad I'm discovering things the day that I'm getting ready to make it all go away. Man, I'm gonna need some caffeine before I have a big adventure. We are here, it is 1.29 p.m. My appointment is at 1.30 p.m. We're at CarMax. Let's see how fast we can sell this car and let's see if they will give me a higher offer than what the internet said. This car is in perfect condition, so they better. Let me do a little dusting, maybe. Maybe make it look a little bit nicer. Okay. Let's go in. This is it guys, the end of an era. Waiting now, I checked in. I just have to wait until somebody comes and checks out the car. Apparently you can't negotiate prices, which I was kind of hoping to do because I had higher offers. But for the convenience factor, I feel like this is gonna be it. So, we're gonna say goodbye. Bye, maybe, we'll see. It is 1.47 and there is someone checking out my car and inspecting it right now. So we should know soon. Honestly, even if they offer me something less, I'm just gonna be like, just take it. I don't care. Just get me out of here. But hopefully they don't do that. Let's do a time check. It is 2.58. About an hour and a half, whole process. Not bad. Now I don't have a car. Peace. Okay, so that um, all happened. My car is officially gone and I was, um, I got home and I was like, oh, I need to go run some errands. And then I was like, oh, I don't have a car. Are. Um, but yeah, the process was super easy. Went online, did a quote, scheduled same day appointment, showed up, sold my car, got a check, deposited the check. Um, and now I wait until my Rivian is gonna be here. They said it could be here this week, but I'm gonna be out of town. So I just wanted to kind of get it all taken care of. It's great because they do all the paperwork, tell the DMV. The only thing I need to do is tell my insurance and handle that. It's like sad, but also I'm like, not that sad because I really, I mean, I enjoyed the car. I really did like the car. Um, I don't really have any emotional attachment to it. So it is what it is. My plant is dead too. Oh geez. Um, okay, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go take a nap. All right, so it is the next day and I actually have to head to San Diego to do a shoot with Sony. And since I sold my car, we are uh, we're packing to get on a plane and we're supposed to leave in 15 minutes. And am I packed? No. So let's finish packing and let's head to the airport. All right, so it was a super quick flight, just landed here in San Diego. Uh, I had to check my bag because since it was such a small plane, my carry-on was too large. So now I have to go to baggage claim. 
Okay, it was a very short flight. Fell asleep, still so, so, so tired, but I did make it to the hotel room. Uh, gonna go meet my friend Sydney. Uh, we're gonna get some lunch, because we're both starving. And I don't know, I don't know what we're gonna do. We're gonna see what San Diego has to offer. I met up with Sydney, he's driving. He's Hi. gonna be paying attention to the road. So we're gonna go on a little excursion. We may or may not be filming something that's gonna be secret. At the light, turn left onto um, Via de la Valle. But for this vlog purpose, we're just gonna be mobbing around. I'm excited. Uh, we have been to San Diego so many times. We were literally just here for camera camp a month ago, which is pretty crazy. And yeah, I don't know. We've got a big vehicle. I don't have a car anymore, so Sydney rented a You're car. You're carless. He's driving me around. This is the In treatment. three quarters of a mile, turn left onto Camino Del Mar. And I think there was talk of getting chips and queso and uh, chips and salsa later, so big, big plan. Just cheese, just all the cheese. God, I love cheese. Mm. So we ended up at the beach. Uh, it's actually kind of cold and the waves are massive, but it is so nice. We're hanging out at the dog beach and uh, gonna shoot some, some content about new secret product that you can't know about yet. What a nice day. So we were filming some stuff down here, but the tide is coming in, so we're gonna move on. But look at this. We're not trying to swim today. All right, we are moving on to the next location. This is such a cool spot, so we're still kind of by the dog beach, but we're now climbing a lot of stairs to get to a cliff. We just stumbled upon what might be one of the nicest places in San Diego, and there is literally no one here. There's all of these wildflowers, and it leads up to a cliff, which this is the view. setting pretty soon and in typical Sydney fashion he's working very hard and I'm actually just like sitting and enjoying the nature which is exactly what I wanted to do we've been filming some really good stuff and I'm excited but um, yeah I, I really hope actually we can kind of come back here maybe we find a cooler spot tomorrow as well this is just so nice to see the ocean I live really close to the ocean so I'm not sure why I don't go to the beach more often but this is a it's a very magical evening all right, so we think we're gonna be wrapping here with this shot. Uh, should we go get some dinner, even though I'm not hungry? Because we might be hungry. We oh, we're gonna be hungry. We, we smell cheese, we're gonna get hungry. <laughs> to the cheese! I love cheese, I also have to pee. We've been up here for a little bit, and it's cold and beautiful. Look at the moon, the moon's coming out. You see that, you see that moon up there? Actually, you can't, oh, there. oh that's so small. All right, let's go walk down this cliff. Hi, Sydney camera now. Uh, friendly reminder, subscribe to Jenna's channel. All right, that's all, bye. Sydney, how are the fries? They are delicious. All right, food vlog. Now, my rating for these truffle fry fries, five out of 10. Five out of 10. Sorry, five out of four. Oh, okay, I was gonna say, wow. That was yeah. Good. This numbers, you know what? It's because th these are so good, I don't know numbers anymore, that's why. <laughs> five out of four. Five out of four. It's a new rating system out of four. In typical Jenna fashion, I didn't finish the vlog, but I had a great time uh, sitting in my car, going to San Diego and kind of hanging out. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you check out some of my other vlogs that will be linked right here. And I'll see you guys again next time for a new video.